prophecy from the book of Daniel, the feet of the statue, the division. The statue contained in the prophecies in the book of Daniel, demonstrate an organization of governments and how they are managed. Several people tried to break part of this prophecy, especially with regard to the feet of the statue, by deciding that there will be a world government with a kingdom. Which would be contrary to prophecy. But for that we must rely on facts and biblical analysis. For that, we will use a system with several biblical commentators used in theology, and biblical dictionaries of Greek and Hebrew to really see the meaning of the words. And yet the analysis of Greek or Hebrew originals. In fact, it is necessary to escape from the guesswork and look for clear foundations. To begin, let's look at Daniel 2.41, we see. And as for what you saw of the feet and toes, partly of potter's clay and partly of iron, this will be a divided kingdom, however, there will be something of the firmness of the iron in it, since you saw the iron mixed with mud. Here is the first question, what is a divided kingdom? For that we must observe what would be the term divided in the original. According to the division of Hebrew terms, the Hebrew word would be the number H6386. When we look at the word in the original, we have that in the entire Bible, we only find this word, that is, it is a single word. A Chaldean word used only in the book of Daniel. We must understand that one thing is the term divided as being separate, another thing is divided to separate. According to biblical commentators we have that the divided kingdom is linked to the separation between families. In Hebrew terms defined as clans. Clans are groups of people who take certain places and define themselves as part of a specific group. To give you an idea, the United States is a clan from the original English family. Russia is a clan from the Balkans. But there is a problem in this case. For all peoples have always been divided into clans, even before Babylon, for division into clans is the first form of division of peoples. So, how is this divided kingdom? This divided realm cannot be in which one dominates the other, as it would not violate the statue's concept. For example, Babylon dominated other peoples, but these peoples were divided between clans, that is, it did not occur in any era when everyone was Babylonian, and when everyone was Persian, and in another time that everyone was Greek, and in another that everyone was Greek. They were Romans. In fact, there was only the central power that controlled the different clans, each with its own specific culture. In the case of a divided kingdom, Power is divided, not concentrated in a clan, as it was elsewhere in the statue. The UN, the United Nations, is a good example of this. Thus the feet of clay can in no way come to have a dominating kingdom, as it would no longer be divided, and would be like other ancient kingdoms. Like the legs. So many people try to build a dominant kingdom, of a specific clan usually Nordic, but this is not accepted by a scripture. In the feet of iron and clay, there is no dominator, there is a form of power switched between clans. This occurs until the appearance of the stone that destroys the statue. All data are on the site reformadorsdesaud.com, for the research of whoever wishes. If you are looking for more content from different areas, visit the reformadorstasad.com website, news and detailed content can be found. With system of research and organization of text and video.